ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace certainly has a very unusual design. Hmm. You recall all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. <laughs> Take the mace anyway. I should have put the, a gem inside of the stone, but let's see. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, cool. Or is it? Well, that's the eagle's nest. I was wondering how to power that up. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Yeah, where is it? Oh, there it is. <coughs> so it's a one-handed maze. Uh, once per long rest, when you uh, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you regain two to twelve hit points. Allies within nine meters also regain one to six hit points. Sheds holy light in a six meter radius in combat. Uh, fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. Weapon enhancement or enchantment uh, plus three. Then you get sunbeam. Sunbeam, a uh, beam of uh, brilliant light, sears and blinds all creatures in its path. Hmm. Well, that's a freaking amazing weapon for Shadowheart. Yeah, and she's the closest one to getting out of the room before it explodes. So, I just put a weapon on you, on Shadowheart. Um, you should use that. If she's capable... I think she is. Yeah, it's a hammer. She should be able to use maces, I think. Um, and you'll get a skill called Sunbeam, which is... It does a lot of damage. It does 6 to 48 damage and blinds all creatures it hits in this path. And if the targets save, like if they roll a save, they still take half damage anyway. And equip it, maybe it's just because it's we're in combat. Maybe. So how do I disarm the device? Is there a way to disarm the device? Well, of course there's a way, but... I don't see a way in here. Maybe outside. Now there is a crest panel. Do you still have a crest on you?
Doesn't look like it. Oh wait, did I have the crest? The Dawn Master's crest. Huh? Maybe that's it. I'm kind of tempted to see what the weapon was going to do, though. I mean... Oh, and we can't get out the portal now. Huh. Interesting. Terribly. It, it could have gone terribly wrong, yes. Maybe we'll but take a lighter touch next time. I don't know, maybe we maybe. should have let it go just a little bit longer. No? <laughs> Alright, so we can walk our way out. Um, make sure you you equipped your weapon now, sir. There you go. Now you'll have a new skill called Sunbeam. And you'll want to use it. And you'll want to line all the enemies up in a line if you can. Like, get, get as many as you can with it. So this is a perfect battle to try that out with. Coming up. Is there anything else in here to loot? Don't do it. You sure you want to enter the astral prism? I don't know, should we? Let's see our quests here. We got to. Just need to go to Well, they wanted us to go in it to kill them, but we said we might free them. So I say we try it. That's cool. Oh, I'm in trouble. Well, oh, what did I do? A timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold, a pocket of astral plane. Quite beautiful. No dangerous things often are. <laughs> Astral gravity. Huh. 
No fall damage, and its jump distance is tripled. I like it. Whee! Wait, did I just take damage? I just took damage. 10 damage. What the hell do you mean there's no fall damage? That's a bug because it showed it as like no fall damage, I'm pretty sure, and it still gave me 10 fall damage. I don't know if we want to go in there. Just yet. Yeah, Divine bone shard. Ooh. Slate. Okay, I got a couple of them. Where's the new one? There we go. Okay. Greater invisibility. That's a good skill for someone to learn permanently, a wizard. all of our potions at five, six. Yeah, they got enough. Okay. Oh, let's go into the cave. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Tell me. Are you the one in charge? Then enter. We need to talk. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? You are a worthy ally. <clears throat> Very well. What do you want to know? Everything? Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. 
It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Well, you're trapped Freedom. in here. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. I already told you I protect you, that I saved you. If this was not enough to convince you, what more is there to say? It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. What was the weapon, though? Lakith will be furious, to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Godlike in power, yes. But with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Elithid She's Empire like John were Snow. ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Elithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose okay. she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. Let her try. She most certainly will. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire crash stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. You look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah, we got the mace. <clears throat> yeah, we put it on uh, Shadowheart. So that Steve because uh, Steve controls Shadowheart. They'll have more more damage now, especially with Sunbeam. Okay. Alright, alright. So we have discovered Yeah, it has a Kamehameha Blast. We haven't looked at it though. Try the Sunbeam out. Shoot it in a random direction. Not at us, though. <laughs> it should. It's like the Kamehameha from Dragon Ball Z. So it should be on Shadowheart. See it? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, you hit yourself though. <laughs> I'm 
noise. Yeah, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Right, go through this portal. 